Hey, what's up CFO athletes? Welcome to another Sunday WOD. 11-29-2020, we're about to hit the last week of November, heading to December. So for this workout for Sunday, we have Shrik Nako. Uh, it seems like a very burly workout, but I think you guys have a lot of fun with it. So um, I am wrapped 20 minutes, 400 meter run, followed by max strict pull-ups. So for this workout, you'll start out with a 400 meter run on a three, two, one, go, head out to a 400 meter run, and then come back and just do as many strict pull-ups as possible until you break. Then you head back out for another 400 meter run, come back, max strict pull-ups. Once you come off the bar, head out for another run. So it's gonna be this cycle of run, one set of max pull-ups, and then go back on the run. So. For this workout here, for the pull-ups, let's choose a variation for the pull-ups that you can at least do seven reps per round. Um, that will give you a chance to work on uh, your pull-up technique, whether it's uh, modifications, which we'll talk about in a moment, and uh, just let you have some fun with this and work on some strength as well as thinking about, hey, how, how to pace yourself on the run. So for the pull-ups, as I'll demo in a little bit, we're gonna focus on the key points on your pull-up position. I uh, wanna keep a good head, neutral head, make sure your chin gets over the pull-up bar, uh, and your shoulders are gonna be active, it's gonna, the, the back of your shoulder blade is gonna contract, and then let's pull towards your butt there. Your elbows, when you get to the bottom of the pull-up position, are gonna be locked out in a full lockout position, so overhead, instead of having a nice, instead of having a bent, Gonna have completely locked out, and then think about the core and the legs. Uh, and keep that arch hollow, squeeze the core, uh, and then for the legs, squeeze the legs, pull them together. Uh, it's easier to control one solid piece and pull up that way than to have everything loose as you're trying to pull up there. For the run portion, we're gonna think about a uh, light to moderate pace. This is gonna be your recovery mode. Uh, for the pull-ups. When you come back, you're just gonna get right on the pull-up bar, maybe a couple seconds, and then just start going after it. And then as you run, I like to shake out my arms, shake out my lats as I'm running, kind of look like the fool, and uh, really let that blood flow kind of trickle back down so your forearms and your lats aren't too pumped when you get to the next uh, round. So for strategy for this workout, uh, when we talk about going to unbroken sets, we don't want you to go to a complete failure. Um, Think about having a one to two reps in the tank every single time or that you can still hang on to the bar for about 10 seconds. Uh, that will allow you to keep a nice consistent pace throughout the workout uh, and a consistent amount of reps totals per round. So uh, we want to think, try to hit between six, seven rounds total for the 20 minutes. Uh, and if it takes you about um, two minutes to run the 400 meters, then total time of doing pull-ups is about six minutes there. So seven times two minutes, 14, so you have six minutes in between uh, each round there. So about a minute maybe of pull-ups, which is quite a lot. Uh, you might be going 30 to 40 seconds there. So let's think about that. Uh, so modifications for the run, let's work, work on this here. For the run, you can do a 500 meter row, uh, a thousand meter bike erg, 400 meter ski erg, or 25, 18 calories on echo bike or assault bike. For the pull-ups, we got a lot of cool modifications. So uh, think about bandage strict pull-ups, uh, ring rows, you got dumbbell rows in the plank position, you got barbell bent over rows, double dumbbell bent over rows, single dumbbell bent over rows, an odd object bent over row, or renegade rows, renegade rows, which I'll show you guys in a little second here. So let's talk about this. You guys have warmed up for your run. You've all the angle prep and everything. You come back. Oh, I'm gonna need this box here for the pull-up position. So let's get that all ready. Oh. So for your pull-up position here, as we get onto the barbell, onto the bar, keep a good grip on the hands there. I would probably, if you are more comfortable having your thumb over the top, you can do that as well, or you can put the thumb on the bottom, have a good grip. Your hand will be in a neutral position, looking towards the camera like I am. Fully locked out the elbows here, toes pointed, 
arch hollow position, and then when you're ready to pull up, squeeze, chin over the bar, and then come back down. Yeah, nice and controlled there, um, but just rep them out as you need to be, squeezing the lats first, and then pulling up with the arms to complete your pull up position. Uh, for modifications, as we talked about, we have banded pull up. So if you have your band, same thing applies. I will try to keep everything you keep applying. If you're doing a strict pull up, keep your legs together, keep your arms, keep your core engaged, arch hollow, head neutral, and then when you're ready, pull up, chin over the bar, come back down. We got ring rolls, so if you have your ring roll set up, set up as to your proper height adjustment. Get on your rings, get onto your heels, make sure the rings keep a nice neutral position here. Keep everything engaged as you would for a regular pull up. Ring roll to the chest, sweep it back down, keep the head neutral as well, and then max ring rolls, we have, move this guy out of the way, so we have dumbbell rolls in a plank position, so get in the plank, I like to have my feet a little slightly apart, and then keeping the hips square, roll up, switch out to the other side. Like so. Uh, you got barbell bent over rows. So you have barbell. Feel free to feet again, shoulder distance apart. Bent over here. We'll lock that here. Bring the barbell to the chest. Head neutral. Squeeze those lats and shoulder blades. Other side. Bent over, keep the back straight, core engaged, like so. Dumbbell bent over row, so you can do single if you feel like it. You get the bent over row position, same as the barbell. You set the dumbbell now, lock out, have the head touch the, sh the chest, back down, keep it engaged. Do not just try to keep prevent from dislocating there and coming loose. Keep that shoulder active. Engage that way. Yeah, double dumbbell. It's over. Double dumbbell. Chest. So. <clears throat> then we got single. We got odd object bent over row. So if you have your odd object. Everything applies. Same position, bent over, feet shoulder distance apart. Got the arm object towards the chest, squeeze the lats. And then finally, the renegade rolls. We'll add a little push up to your action here. So, hopefully, dumbbells in a plank position, feet a little bit further apart. You're gonna row one, row two, and then push up. Chest to the ground, squeeze it up. Run, row two, and then to the push-up position. That should be it. Those are the, the modifications for Strict and Nicole. I know you guys will have a good time with that. Um, post your workout and your scores on Sugar Wad, and then do the after party for Sunday, which is Good 10 to 15 minutes of stretching your lats, your forearms. Definitely gonna need that after this workout with the pull ups, um, calves, and hamstrings from the run. So get on a foam roller, get on the cross ball, maybe. Uh, and if, if you have a band, you have uh, whatever you need to loosen it all up. So I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Keep up all the good work, and we'll see you guys next time.